We're hoisting the sails to catch a downwind breeze from Spain to Portugal. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> He's gonna make it there before we are. <laughs> Arriving at an absolute beauty of a city that we enjoyed so much, we may have overstayed. They locked the gate. Welcome to Sailing Gypsy. Two years ago, we knew nothing about sailing, but took off from Canada with an urge for adventure. I'm Steph. This is Travis, and this is our home, Gypsy. We moved quickly, and in a short time, have made it down south and even crossed an ocean. But we still have a whole lot more of the world to see. Subscribe and join our life on the water. beautiful downwind sail off the west coast of Spain making our way to Portugal. We're going to be stopping into Porto which is a 12-hour sail from where we started this morning in where were we? Rio de Vigo. The only thing is we <laughs> we planned on leaving at like 5 this morning. Got up at 5 and was like nope my eyes aren't waking up now. So then we got up at 6 had to do a few things because we realized we didn't have fuel. So we filled up the tank with our jerrys. We still have fuel in the tank, but we don't like when it gets to a certain level. As you know, we ran out of fuel. And we knew we were going to have to motor for a few hours this morning. We kind of scrapped the day and said, you know what, we're going to go to Bayona, which is six miles south down in the bay, and we'll just get fuel and hang out for the day. But then we started thinking, oh, well, that's another day here. It sucks on how much you really have to think about how much time you spend, because we really do got to make it quite far. At this point now, it's what, like 10 something after we finished fueling up and doing everything. We're like, all right, screw it, let's go. So we hit it off. Really excited to be getting on the move because we've been in Spain for about a week. We just get really nervous about that clock ticking and making our way further south and in to the Med. We'll just get to uh, Porto a little bit later. Now we're actually sailing. We only had to motor for an hour. And just flicked over slightly to the other side so we're just changing our setup to cross the boom over and Travis is working on moving the pole over. All that work <laughs> just to furl it back in. And we've got the bloody motor back on. So the wind's picked up. It's gotten a little more sporty. It's 20 to 25 knots. Right dead down wind. We're piping along at seven, eight knots. Still wing on wing, which is crazy. Uh, our sail set up, got one reef in the main and reefed the head sail, it's on the pole, and we're flying. Some of these waves are pretty steep again, the autopilot is totally fighting it, but I think we're, we're relatively pretty balanced for how fast we're going. It's like a hydrofoil surfer guy. He's catching up to us. Look at the fuck, he's gonna pass us. This is wild. People out here are not scared to go up far, eh? That's so funny. This guy, John. <laughs> oh. Awesome! <laughs> he's gonna make it there before we are. <laughs> past us. 
He was so far away. So what if we get one of those, I jump in the water, and you just hang out, and then I just jump in and I do, I can catch up to you. We're going like, well, I guess we're going six knots now, but he's I think probably, he's had some practice, though. Totally. Boy, that's hilarious. But it's not like you can go back the other way. Probably, it's, I think it's a downward thing. Yeah, and this is perfect for it. We thought we'd be coming in here at dark, so we definitely made good time. And now I look like a raccoon. Lost an hour again. Time look at the. <laughs> Do you see my face? <laughs> We're in Duro River. That's kind of the entrance. You go up there about two and a half kilometers, and that's the main city of Porto. So I think, I think we found a good spot to anchor. It's not marked. This is a little further up, and a dinghy dock right there and seemed like a better spot. We're gonna see what happens when the tide shifts and see how we swing and everything, but we're pretty far from the markers. We're pretty far out of the channel. Like, that's the channel marker right there. What a sunset. Porto is the second largest city in Portugal. The Dom Luis Bridge here spans across the Douro River connecting Porto and Vila Nova de Gaia. It's a double-decker bridge that you can walk and drive across on the bottom level, and the top level is walkable and used by the metro. We were amongst more tourists than we've been anywhere else so far in our cruising. Many people speak English, and be prepared that most places only accept cash. Jewelry and souvenir vendors line the riverfront, along with ticket sales for riverboat tours, where tickets are 15 euros a pop. Upon stepping on land, we could see exactly why Porto's historic center is designated as a World UNESCO Heritage Site. The historical buildings and beautiful cathedrals make each narrow cobblestone street worth every step on that step counter. That was a sweet lookout. It's on the non-tour spot. That's how we do it. There's lots to keep you entertained in this city. The Navy was performing drills on this day, and if you look closely, they've just picked up an ATV flying it over the river. And of course, Porto is known for its port wine, so you'll see wine tours everywhere or samplers like this at numerous restaurants. This is white, this is sweet white, rosé, tawny, and ruby. And this one's really, like, really spiced, but the white is very sweet. Her favorite is the rosé. That's why I've done this. This guy gets <laughs> Both the city and water light up at night. Vendors and street performers keep the good times going well past sunset.
to ask the guy when the dock was going to close or the gate was going to shut. Um, so that was about 6 p.m. Very, very long time ago. We've got a lot of docks, but most of the docks are for the river cruise boats. So they're all locked up now. We walked along the shore to see if there was any access, but it's particularly hard because it's low tide right now. So it's just all really slick and climbing down is a no-go. It got really windy in the river earlier today, so we didn't think that it was going to be all that comfortable beating into it with all the other boats and sea dews and stuff waking us out. And plus we wanted to stay a little bit longer because we weren't sure if we were only going to be in Porto for a day or not, so we just wanted to see everything. And as you probably saw from the footage that we took, it's really lively. There's so much to see, so much to walk and eat, so we really maximized all the time that we had here. That just meant leaving the boat for a lot longer than we normally do. So we actually did end up taking a walk all the way down the river just so we could get a visual on Gypsy before continuing our night and always good. So oh, I think I am now at the dock that we agreed. Oh yeah, there he is. These docks are a lot easier to get through because I can just squeeze right in between that. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try squeeze. In here, just could have just jumped it, but there's always a way. Easy peasy. There's always a way. We got some funny looks, but did we? Yeah. Cruisers always make it work. It's just what we do. Yep. We're back. 